the real numbers consist of all the rational numbers and the irrational numbers. Inside the rational numbers we have the integers, the whole numbers, and the natural numbers. The natural numbers are the numbers that we use for counting and to represent them we use letter N. So we write N equals braces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. The whole numbers use 0 and the natural numbers, and to represent them we use letter W. So we write W equals braces 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. The integers include the whole numbers as well as the negatives of the natural numbers. To represent them we use letter Z equals, then we write three dots showing that the negative numbers continue to the left forever, then we list a few negative numbers, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, then 0, then a few positive numbers, and so on. The rational numbers are the numbers that we can write as fractions, where both the numerator and the denominator are integers, and the denominator is not zero. To represent these numbers, we use letter Q. And to describe it, we need to use the set builder notation. So we'll write that this set includes all the numbers of the form A over B, where A and B are integers, and b is not equal to 0. So as you see with the previous sets we used the raster method because we could list the numbers one after the other one. However with fractions, between two fractions there are infinitely many other fractions so we cannot list them one after the other one. Now some examples of rational numbers could be 12 over 5, as you see, both the numerator and the denominator are integers. Another example, negative 7 over 4. Another one, 6. And that is because we can write 6 as 6 over 1 or 12 over 2. So we can write any integer over 1, so all the integers are rational numbers. Number 6, we can call it a natural number. We can also call it a whole number, or an integer, or a rational number. Zero is also a rational number because we can write it as zero over any non-zero integer, like zero over five. Square root of 16 is also rational because square root of 16 is four, and we can write four as four over one. 0.26 is rational because we can write it as 26 over 100 or if we reduce it this will be 13 over 50. So any terminating decimal is a rational number. 0 0.3 repeating is rational because we can write it as 1 over 3. 1.25 repeating is also rational because we can write it as 124 over 99. So any decimal whose digits repeat is a rational number. Now let's talk about the irrational numbers. They are represented by letter i and these are the numbers that we cannot write as ratios of two integers. When we write irrational numbers in decimal form, the digits neither repeat nor terminate. For example, square root of 2 is approximately 1.414235 and the digits continue forever without repeating. In fact, the square root of any non-perfect square will be an irrational number. So, square root of 5 
square root of 6, square root of 7 are all irrational numbers. Another number that is irrational is number pi. Its approximate value is 3.14 and it represents the ratio of the circumference to the diameter in a circle. And again, none of these numbers we could write as a fraction where both the numerator and the denominator would be integers. So notice that a number can be either rational or irrational and it cannot be both. And now the real numbers consist of all the rational numbers and all the irrational numbers together. So we can say that any of the numbers we have here are real numbers. Thank you for watching the video and if you liked it, please share, like and subscribe.